As a Red Dot Design Award winner in 2010, M7 is designed for using in all point-of-care environments. It delivers premium image performance with a broad range of specialties. M7 also gives you extremely mobility in multi-ways with powerful trolley to a cross hospital and carry directly to the patient, fashion luggage, or backpack for remote travel. The system consists of monitor, control panel, handle, transducer port, IO extent port, power input port, USB port, network part, and S-video separate video output. With the transducer extender, more transducers can be connected to the main unit. The control panel is divided into several parts according to its function. Patient management area, save and print area, central control area, image mode area, parameter adjustment area, soft key area, alphanumerical keyboard. With iDoc module, we can connect main unit to more accessories, such as printer, external LCD, and so on. Before scanning the patient, press patient button to input patient's information, such as name, ID number, date of birth, gender, and so on. Then, press exam button to select probe and exam mode. Let's take abdomen exam mode for example. The probe position is shown on the left. Users can change the brightness of the image by TGC. Let's change to Adult Codec Mode. The probe position is shown on the left. Press M button, change the image mode to M mode, and then adjust the scan line. Press M button again to get the image. In M mode, we can measure the stroke volume, ejection fraction, and short axis fractional shortening, which is set in intraventricular septum thickness, left ventricle internal diameter, left ventricle posterior wall, at the end of diastolic period, and the end of systolic period. Then, the SV, EF, and FS will be calculated automatically. An atomic M mode, which is called free x rays is popular on virus ultrasound products. It is valuable when the patient's cardiac apex is upward, especially for the elderly. On M7, up to three lines can be simultaneously displayed. After freezing the image, you can easily adjust the sample line position. Thus, more anatomic precise observation can be provided. Just imagine you have one sample line, but want to have a full view of long axis image. You have to firstly get the motion curve of left ventricle, then freeze the image, and continue to move the line to the mitral valve position and the left atrium position. It costs much time. Tissue Doppler imaging extracts tissue motion signals for quantitative analysis to study cardiac function. TDI is effective addition for traditional cardiology examination. It is more direct and faster with uniform diagnosis criteria. On M7, TDI function is very complete, including TVI, standing for tissue velocity imaging, TEI, standing for tissue energy imaging, TVD, standing for Tissue Velocity Doppler, and TVM, standing for Tissue Velocity Motion. The upper image is TVD imaging, meanwhile, the below one is PW imaging. With TVD function, quantitative analysis is available. 
For example, my cardial velocity and gradient, even the instantaneous motion can be clearly reflected. Now change to the 7L4S probe with carotid exam mode. The probe position is shown on the left. We can use B-steer function so as to deflect the angle of beam. Use trapezoid imaging, we can get a larger far field image. Start color mode and get a proper region of interest. Change the angle of the ROI box, we can realize the influence of the angle to the blood flow display. Turning on Do Live, we can compare color image with 2D image lively. Press power button and enter power mode to display more vessel more sensitively. Enter the PW mode by pressing PW button and then choose proper sample volume according to the size of vessel by soft menu key. In main vessel, sample volume should be half to two thirds of the vessel width. In branch vessel, Sample volume should be half the full size of vessel width. For arteries, there is a function called IMT, which is to calculate the intima media thickness. What you need to do is define the region of interest, and then the intima media can be drawn automatically. And the thickness will be calculated with a quality index. This is a very useful index for the cardiovascular episode. M7 supports excellent panoramic imaging, which is called iScape. Firstly, it is real-time alignment and display, and you can easily erase and continue to generate better panoramic image. Secondly, Velocity Index is available and guarantees the constant motion of probes. Green means that the velocity is suitable and you can keep on. The red one means the probe's velocity had better be slowed down. The blue color means the probe's motion should be faster. Thirdly, we support the picture-in-picture -picture function. The left image is one complete panoramic image. The right image is one segment of the whole image. The green box just indicates the relative position of the segment and the whole image. 